So if you're listening to these in order, you may already notice that some are dated 2000, I think in 12, and this is the year 2013. And so some uh, chapters I'm redoing, and this is one of the chapters that I thought I would redo because everyone loves severe weather. Um, it's the thing here in the Midwest that gets your adrenaline moving. Um, we're going to focus on, uh, you know, spring, summer, fall time, um, severe weather that comes in the form of thunderstorms. And one of the things I know it's just a small thing that I think is ironic is um, they call them thunderstorms, ooh, thunderstorms. But to me, you know, thunder is the audible part of something that's very deadly. So thunder never killed anybody. But anyway, um, this chapter, chapter 10, is broken up into three parts, basically. The first part is going to talk about thunderstorms and what's associated with um, and uh, thunderstorms in general. And then we're going to focus on a little bit lightning and then end with tornadoes. So it's a great chapter. And so when we talk about thunderstorms, actually, um, they can bring all of those things. They can bring lightning. They can bring severe rain, severe rain um, flash flooding. They can bring uh, heavy, um, fast winds. Um, they can bring tornadoes. Um, and I, I'm trying something new, too. We'll see if we like it. But basically, I, I have removed my builds, most of my builds for my text. So I'm not sure if I'm going to like that or not. But uh, we talked earlier in the course about um, the fact that some chunks of air are stable and chunks of, some chunks of air or the atmosphere is relatively what we call unstable. And if the air is unstable or if the atmosphere is unstable, that means that that chunk of air has a tendency to rise. And we talked about lifting mechanisms that can get that chunk of air to rise. But we also said one of the reasons a chunk of air wants to rise is it is warmer than its surroundings. Um, so warmer or less dense. So thunderstorms in general bring us that severe weather. The thunder never killed you, but we're going to see that actually, although they don't put out warnings for lightning, lightning um, it kills so many people every year as opposed to tornadoes and um, uh, flash flooding is really bad too. But anyway, where are the thunderstorms? Um, and here in North America, you probably uh, will kind of readily see that um, here in Florida, um, if you're prone to like, like uh, get struck by lightning, you don't want to live in Florida. I'm kind of just kidding. I recently listened to a podcast on does lightning really um, tend to follow people? Is getting struck by lightning genetic? And I don't think it is. Um, but um, when we think about thunderstorms, I mentioned un unstable air and um, uh Unstable air can be warm air and moist air, and Florida's got both of them. And some sort of lifting mechanism, um, Florida has the converging air as it hits the, um, um, it, as it as it goes from the smooth um, ocean or the smooth Gulf to the land. That's kind of a lifting mechanism. So. Um, but worldwide, this is kind of generally where we see our thunderstorms, and um, you would think that. Let's see. This is probably composite throughout the year. But you would think the intertropical convergence zone would be a good place to get um, thunderstorms. Actually, this isn't just thunderstorms. This actually specifically is our lightning. Well, it says lightning flashes down here. So thunderstorms. 